Today we will talk about creativity, how and where do I find inspiration for my photo manipulations, how to train your imagination, how to be better in imagining things, and also I will explain you the process behind creating my photo manipulation tutorials for you guys. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another really fun episode. In the past year or so, I got a ton of questions about creativity, creative process, imagination, where do I find photos for my photo manipulation tutorials, etc. So I decided to create this video to address all those questions in just one video so everybody can get the answer from this one. So let's start with creativity. Creativity, as the word said, is basically the ability to create but to create something new, useful and innovative. So creativity basically starts in our heads. We need first to think about what we want to create and then go to creative process. So basically everything starts with our imagination. We need to imagine what we want to create. And imagination can be trained actually. There are several ways how you can train the imagination. One of the really, really good ways to develop, to train your imagination is to read a book because when you're reading a book, you're imagining things that you are reading. So, for example, you're reading some story about an old castle in a big green field of grass and there is a forest nearby that castle, big really nice green forest with a lot of nice cute animals like uh, rabbits, deers, bears, I don't know, a lot of cute animals and they're really happy. They're playing on that field, in the forest, outside the forest, etc. But there is really dark part of the forest. There is deep dark part of that forest where is big bad wolf living. So he's really tall, he's really bad, he's dark and he has big red eyes and he's taller than all the animals in the forest. I will not go further. So the point here is that you can all imagine things that I'm telling you right now, but everybody can and will imagine a little bit differently. So somebody will imagine that castle like a big, maybe yellow castle. Somebody will imagine different color, like gray one, etc. The forest bigger, smaller, different type of trees, different type of animals. And the wolf, somebody will imagine that wolf maybe bigger, taller than a forest. Somebody will imagine it on four legs, on two legs, different kind of eyes, different kind of fur, hair, etc. So all of you, all of us are able to imagine things, but we will all imagine it differently and that's good. So reading a book is really, really great way to train your brain, to train your imagination. And also another great thing to train your imagination is just by brainstorming or just by sitting by yourself in a chair or wherever you want and laying down, down on a bed, etc. And just try to imagine one scene and just then, then try to build that scene. For example, let's start with, I don't know, let's start with a snail. Snail is really nice, cute, uh, small animal, but let's try to imagine something opposite. So maybe like a bigger snail, He's like evil snail with uh, metal house on the back and a lot of guns around the house, like Terminator, etc. We'll stop there, maybe Rumbo, Rumbo uh, snail. So the point is that you need to try to build that scene. It doesn't matter if it's stupid, if it's if it's really good idea, it doesn't matter. The point is to just try to build the scene from scratch to, to complete scene maybe then when you when you're finished imagining that snail with uh, different maybe has some kind of uh, helmet or whatever and then surroundings in what kind of surround surrounding uh, environment he is etc so that is a really really good way to train your imagination try that uh, practice and uh, you will be better and better okay but then you can ask me where do i find my inspiration from well from everyday life everyday situations just make them a little bit more funnier or stupid or or serious or whatever just change it or from tv series for movies from books there are a lot of inspiration all around us just uh, try to imagine things differently and put it on a paper put it in photoshop and then try to create that scene and of course to be able to be creative to be able to create something you need to know the tools and you need to know how to use those tools. So practice is the key. Practice, practice and practice more. 
and uh, let me tell you the process behind uh, creating my YouTube photo, YouTube photo manipulation tutorials for you guys. As I already explained before, everything starts in our head with the idea, everything starts with the imagination, finalizing the idea, and when I have a final idea, what I want to create as a photo manipulation, I go online and search for some free photos on some free stock websites like pexel.com, pixabay.com, unsplash.com, etc. to find all the necessary material to combine in that uh, final photo manipulation. But there is a catch. You know that in photo manipulation you need, all your elements need to match in the lights, light, lighting needs to be matched, colors, perspective angles, etc. So all those things needs to match, otherwise photo manipulation will look really fake. And that means that you, you cannot just use any kind of images. You need to find proper images for that photo manipulation. And the process goes like this. I go online and search, for example, for this photo manipulation, we need five different images. Okay, I find three images and then fourth image. It's really problematic. I cannot find the image in that angle from that perspective with that kind of lighting. And I can spend hours one, two, three hours searching on all that, these uh, free stock websites for that image. And then eventually when I cannot find it, I need to change the idea. So I throw that in the trash, sit down a little bit, think about next idea. Okay, this will be the idea for my next tutorial. Then again, same process, online searching. If I cannot find all images, trash it. Second, third idea, fourth idea. And sometimes I can change 10, 12, 14 different ideas until I find all the necessary photos for that photo manipulation, so it's not easy. And that's why I'm having only one photo manipulation tutorial per week, because it's really time consuming. And uh, when I finally find all the necessary photos, then everything is really easy, based on experience. I just sit down, create that uh, photo manipulation, then turn on this camera and just record everything, pack it together in Premiere Pro, edit the video and everything, and just upload to YouTube keywords, thumbnails, etc. And then, guys, you can just enjoy watching my tutorials. So as you can see, this is not easy. And uh, there is a thing that is called uh, creative blocks. So all of us are having creative blocks. That means that you cannot, you're trying hard, but you cannot think about of any kind of idea for that project, for the current project that you're working on, for photo manipulation, for anything. I don't know, whatever you're doing. And that's normal thing, don't care about this. I have creative blocks all the time. Sometimes I cannot think about the idea for maybe a few hours, sometimes it's days, sometimes it's even week or 10 days. It doesn't matter, that's something that is really normal and the best thing that you can do in this kind of situation, just go outside, ride the bicycle, go for a walk or just sit down, read the book, play a movie, do whatever, just don't do your job. Just leave it and when you go, and do something else. Sometimes just reading a book or riding a bike, bike will help. Sometimes you will have that creative block for days, but don't worry, eventually you will get back on the track. And if you're new in this uh, art, in photo manipulations or whatever you're doing, if you're new, remember that that's normal. Don't be that guy that will just give up after one, two or three tries and you see that mm, this is not going anywhere and I will just give up and go outside and do something else. No you will not get anywhere with this kind of thinking. Just try 10 times, 12 times, 15, 50 times, 100 times, and you will finally manage to do it. Of course, 100 times, it's crazy amount of uh, repeating, but the point is just try, try it, try it, and eventually you will get it. Or change the idea, try something else, but don't give up, because that will push you to the next level and you will improve your skills, you will improve your uh, thinking, knowledge, creativity, everything will be much better. So there is no like success overnight. You need to sit down to practice, practice and practice more to get somewhere. Okay guys, this is it from me for this video. I hope that you heard something informative, something new, something useful. And if you have any questions regarding to this uh, topic, just leave me down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. Also, guys, if you appreciate this content, if you like this episode, just press that like button down below, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And also ring that bell icon to get to be notified about all the future episodes. Have fun, experiment, and see you guys in the next fun episode. Bye-bye.